Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to the park. Today I wanted to share some very special exercises that I always do when I'm travelling or sitting for too long, getting that stiffness and that swelling in my legs because I'm not getting that blood to circulate. So let's just have a look at these. Have your feet parallel feet, hip distance apart. Imagine you're sat on that chair, whether it's a plane, a train or a car, whatever you're doing. You want to keep that blood moving so that you don't feel uncomfortable with that stiffness in the legs. So I'm going to just gently raise one heel off the floor, keeping my tummy in, keeping my tailbone under and just sitting nice and comfortably, breathing nice and gently into the nose and out through the mouth and keep raising that foot, feeling that calf muscle working and then change to the other side. Keep the alignment of the foot so the arch of the foot reaches directly over that big toe. It could be difficult if you've got shoes on but just keep those feet moving. It's going to keep that blood flowing and make you feel much better with long journeys. And then see if you can do it the other way, flexing that foot, pulling up. You can feel that shin muscle working hard. Keep everything moving, keep breathing. If you want to, you can just stretch the fingers at the same time as you do that. Just keeping things going and just making sure that you use that breath to energize energize that body to do that action. Let's see if we can take both feet off, reaching the arches of the feet over those toes and at the same time you can just point those fingers down and feel those arms working too. Really focusing on those legs where we get most of our stiffness if we sit for too long and then taking it the other way. Pull that tummy in as you do that out breath with that action and work those hands as well if you want to. Actually keep that going for a minimum of eight times and you can repeat it at any point of the journey that you're starting to feel a little bit stiff. Bring those feet down and just see a little bit harder. Raise one heel and flex one other foot and swap. Let's get that going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. And then finally, raise that foot off and just see if you can give it a little bit of a circle. Push the ball of the foot into the floor. It won't go very big in that circle, but just keep it moving and put some pressure into the ball of that foot. And then raise the other foot, trying to draw a little bit of a circle there. Keep the toes nice and spread out and just feel that whole movement circling in that ankle, keeping the joints nice and mobile and bring it down. Now for your final exercise, let's see if we can extend the whole foot and put it down in half movements, lifting the arch, pointing to the toe, put the toes down and put the foot down. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, change feet, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel. Do it together, heels, toes, you've got to pull up in that tummy, heels, toes. And now, just think about it, if you're sat for long enough, you can actually take your shoes off and really get those feet working and work the whole leg by pulling up in those calves and then taking a nice big lift out of that bottom, squeeze those bottom cheeks and release. Well done.